one, we're going to learn about class view versus a versus function view. Yeah, I will call it diff. Diff, it means when we define a function in Python, we use the word diff. When we define a class, we use a class. So I will call it diff view. Because already nobody call it that way. It's really like a function view, something like that. That's one thing. Two, it's a, we're going to review and extend. So I will call it review and extend our use of tables. That's the second element we would like to go over today and finish. And the third one will be, it's using the class viewers to develop the templates, okay? So we're going to have templates, templates, maybe we just start, I don't think we'll finish today, templates, Okay, templates. All of that lead us to implement, implementation. So I really should really give it as a, the title. It's a, really what we're gonna do today. It's implementation of crude, a crude functionality, I can call it, or something like that. I really called it a synonym to how do we create a new row in a table? How do we retrieve a row from a table? How do we update a row in a table? How do we delete a row in a table? So each one of them is it's an acronym really for four types of function we can do with records in a table. And the way we're gonna do it and we, we take the opportunity, we learn class view, and I will show at least one example how you can use class view and how you use function view or definition view. I personally, 99% what I do in real life, I use function view. I don't really see the advantage of class or not theoretically, it uh, does a, a lot of things for you automatically. But many times you really need to spend a lot of time to learn how the guys in Django have developed those classes to take advantage. But for simple things, it's really cool. And we're gonna do first in this certificate, the simple one, I will show the link between those two, how you can implement the same things both ways. And that will be important. The thing is, really is we only saw how we built one simple table. We're gonna already go and see how we build several tables, okay? And then how we use templates to show data in a database. The only things we have done so far in which we saw pulling data from a database was when we went to the to-do application. If we go to the to-do, let me open that one, Python. It's a, I'm gonna look at that. Let's see the, we will see the We will see the to-do application. Inside the to-do application, we, we, we looked at, we, I showed how you can really change, blah, blah, blah. But here, what we really did when we write something, let's say today is Sunday, and I click submit. He added into here, into the table. So we have only one table here. We have one data entry and 
with some meaning it. So the whole process is really done. So what I want before we start diving into a complete structure with the billing application, I just understand this one 100% and then we go into the heavy into the billing application, okay? Which is the objective. So let's review first how this application to do works. When I type here something, okay, that something supposed to uh, I'm missing, uh, what's his name? Is uh, Brian his eyes? I don't think Brian joined, is he? Brian or Martin, I don't see him. Not yet. Not yet, okay. Yes. Okay, let's see how is that work. If you get really this idea, it's a big deal. It's not simple, but it's really nice. So let's go and look at the, at the everything we do with the, with the to-do, it's uh, really will have on the top the to-do. That's really what we said in previous sessions. We have the to-do here, okay? And then that takes us, I can even close that one and focus only on the application to-do. Wonderful. In the to-do, I click here and there is only one function, index. Let's go to that function, it's in the views. And here is the function that does all the work. In fact, this one, I, I commented them out. I commented them out. I have other ones, but we can ignore them for now. And let's ignore them for now, they commented out. Okay, so there's really, this is the function that does everything. If you get that one, it's beautiful. Last time we focused on this part, this line. This line we said is pulling all the record from the table. How do we do that? We link it to the models. Every application has a model. In the model we define the table item. So in the view, we importing it by the command form, that means in the same directory as the view is in. So in the view, it's in the same directory, you have the model. That model, it's mean in the same directory, look for this file and bring that item class. That's really what this line means, okay? Okay, now we have a link to the definition of the item. Item is a class. Okay, it is a class and the class has many function objects, could have objects. If you remember, very, very beginning when I did the Python, I taught you about a human being that can have a cat and the cat was an object. And we made a human being that has a cat, a human being that doesn't have a cat. So here, in fact, you can think about it, that item has an, a class a, an object called object. And these objects really represent all the records inside the item. That's the way you can think about it for now. Later on, we'll see more advanced stuff. We'll learn about next certificate. We'll learn about filters. How do I filter so I don't get all the data? I just want to get specific data. For now, we're pulling everything. That's why we do that all. It gave me all the records. So here I do have all the records. How do we use it? We use it in the template. This one, we're transferring it to the template, but this is the name of the variable inside the template. In fact, I'm reviewing the last session, if you notice. You, you already realize I like to repeat myself. I'm not doing it because I love to do that. It's because I think it's very important repeat, repeat, repeat. And that's the only way you really can know it very well. So I go here to that template index, right in here. And in the index, I will skip everything here. I will only focus on this part. 
That's what we did last time. And here we have a loop for item in items. That means for every row in the rows, do these. This is really adding a row in a table. That's why I put the symbol of table outside of the loop. So I have a table, close the table. Inside, I make a loop. So this is gonna make as many rows are inside the table, and it's gonna do this one. This one is basically taking every column, see item.id is the first column, Item that text is the second column. Then item that date posted is the third column. And that's the way I created this one. Uh, Michael, are you writing down? Not quite yet. Okay, write down. Everybody write down. Okay, Brenda, are you there? Yes. Mildred? Yes. Yeah. Where is Mildred? Ah, here she is. She's Where is she? Jimmy, be worried about your neck. You turn it too deep, too, in a very sharp angle. Okay, very good. Write down what I would like you guys to design, all of you. Like we have a table here in the to do, is that right? Yes. Here is the exercise I would like you to do. It's a very hard one for somebody that never done it. I want another table to define here another table. The name of the table will be Kim. I will write it down. I will write it down so it will be easy for you to follow. Okay. I want you to make, make a new table in the to do app. Name of the table. Name of the table will be team members. Fair enough? Yeah. Which field in the table? Fields in the table will be like that, teams will be one. First name, pay attention the way that I write it. First name, I could have done it, it would be easier for me. The second one, last name. Put, pay attention to the underscore, last name. So far so good. And then I would like an image of, so this is already gonna be a table of the team members, meaning all of you. We're gonna put all of your data inside there. And I want you to be able to upload image of yourself to this table. And I'm gonna show you how you do it. Okay? Yes. So let's see who will be able to, how long it will take you, I hope until next meeting. So we're gonna add another table. How do we add another table here, by the way? Let's just start so you don't really get lost. Anybody, how would you start? Because this is the place I ask you for the to-do. When we put new tables, it's we put them here, is that right? Yes, under models. So how would you start? A new class. Yeah, write it to me. Tell me what to write. Class. Class, very good. Team members. Very good. Is that right? Open brackets, model. Hey, didn't it like a misspelling member? And I... 
Why does it like me? Mem. Affinity and underscore as well. Did I miss anything? Underscore between team and Yeah, I know, but yeah. Okay, let's do it this way. Very good. And then what do I do? Uh, open brackets. Very good. Open parentheses and write inside. Models, models. We inherit everything from mothers. In certificate three, if you are excellent student, I will teach you how you add tables that carry different languages. Okay, so far we always inherit only from mothers that model. Very good. And then we do. Come on. Now what do we do? The, the spelling of model. Hey, and you know Amos is lazy, don't you? So what do you do? Uh, so I just the, take this one and copy. Is that right? Yes. Don't you like my method of laziness? It's totally 90 percent of what I do, I copy for myself. I'm gonna take this one, copy it here. What happened? Model. Yeah, ah, here we go. Bingo. And what do I change? Uh, first name. First name. Very good. First name. First name. Hey, he's complaining. He likes to keep two lines here. I know. So I'm going to do for the second. Also, the spelling of models in the brackets. Yeah, here, here a second. What happened to it? Model. Yeah, he didn't like me because I need a big M here. Yes. M, model. Very good. But first. Very good. That's what we need. And then we start here. First, ma first. Name. And one thing is very important. Blank force mean I don't really have to put there uh, anything. Why is he complaining? Uh, yeah, he wants me to keep more space here. Hold a second. I don't know why it's getting crazy on me. Hold a second, bear with me. I'm gonna delete the whole things here. What's going on here? I'm in a different language or what? Do you notice it's crazy? Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. No, see, I don't know what's happening. It's strange, very strange. Uh, let me close it and open it. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes you get crazy on me, so I will we'll fix it. So I see Saul join us. Hello, who is Saul? S A. Uh, that's that's uh, David Jeremiah. Oh, ah, Jeremiah. Yes. How are you, Jeremiah? Okay. Let me open. Hopefully, it opened. Very good. Let's see. I think it should be fine now. Yeah. It was. I don't know what happened. That's what I do when you get crazy. I will click enter, and now it's fine. There's one more thing. Very important in the text that you should really put. I didn't put any limit here. But usually you should like to, what is called mix. Ah, uh, yeah, you see I'm in Hebrew. I know there is something that doesn't make any sense. Now we'll be fine. Okay, we'll have mix. You see there is a field uh, called, if you look, there's a max length. Yeah. And usually for a first name, somebody has more than 50, just, I don't really that. 
open. Okay. Uh, you can put even a hundred, but most of the people don't really have a hundred character. So if it's a big table, for you, it doesn't make any difference. Now, I'm going to copy this one again. Is that right? And we'll write here what? Last. Last name. Is that right? Am I okay, Michael? Michael? Hello? Yes, it's... I am okay, good. Yes. So we indeed, uh, we indeed uh, have uh, two fields, but I'm missing one more field, is that right? Which field? Right, image field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how will I do the image? It has a unique way as well. Huh? I think it will be image field this time. Yeah, let's write here, image. We we'll call it image, what the heck. And what do I do, models? Models dot. Here we go, you see models dot. Image. Here image. we go, let's scroll down. Let's see if there's anything with image. Okay. Anybody see image? Not yet. Yes. How about we start typing it? What do you think, image? There it is. There. Yeah, oh, here, here, you see? From there is a special one for image, but I have no idea what to put inside. So, oh, here it, what it says. It says, verbus, okay, I will skip that. Name, I'm give it a name. Width field, height field, none. No, I don't like it. So what should I do? I don't understand what to do. Well, I do really, in fact, but you don't. So what are you going to do? Go to the internet and search. Very good. That's one way. The other way you can do is if you already have done it. Let's see in the main, if I gave you example. In, in you know, in Academy City, definitely uploading. Let's see if there is an image. Oh, you see, you see the models. And the man, I gave you example. I didn't go over it. But you see there is a field called image? Yes. Let's copy it. Is that a good idea? That's the second best option. It's the best first option. Copy from somebody. Got it? So Got I'm it. Go here. So, you know, that was a good try. In fact, it's a very good try. But here, what the heck is talking about? We have upload to, I will help you out. And then I want you to understand what does it do. To do, I'm going to change. I don't want it to go to the main, but where does it go? And then I want default. I don't want it to go to the, to, to the main. In fact, I can leave it there. I, let, let me see what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, what does it really mean? If you look, and this is really one important thing for today for you to follow. We have a static, but we have also media. Static, we already used image, if you recall in the main, we used this image, if you remember the globe last time. Yes. We, we used the image, I think it was main one, if I recall. But we have also media. What the difference? Why we need both of them? And you see, under the main, there is really a file called a, no, it doesn't have unknown. I'm gonna put it, in fact, let's see what it, this one it says. Let's see what this one. Oh, see, this is empty. You know what, let's change that to this one. I like this one. It doesn't make a difference. How about a lion? We can put a lion. But no, I don't want to do that. And I want to be consistent also. So I'm going to keep it in under the to-do. I will explain that in a second. Moreover, that means uh, I'm not going to put media main. I'm going to have media to-do. New directory. 
it's work different than the static in a minute you will see in under the to do i'm going to use this unknown image okay i forgot where i put it i had an image like that called unknown i think i have it in the i think i have it in the the game store let me see if in the academy city I just will copy it from there and I will explain that part, okay? That's gonna be your test, by the way. Academy City, in the Academy City, the game store project, it's your ready test. Let's look at that a second. Let me download it. It's right here, it should be here, game store. You have it to zip. There's a lot of stuff in it. We'll go over there, don't worry. For now, I, just, I think I have that image right there. Let me see, game store. Uh, no, I don't see it. I thought that I had it. Nope. No, I don't have it there. Okay, but we'll put our own image. It doesn't make any difference. Let's make an image, okay? Or let's take one from the internet. How about unknown, yeah, dot pgn. I'm just, I believe there should be something like that on the internet. Yeah, see, there's so many of them. You got it? Yeah. Which one do you like? Question it doesn't really make a difference. Take any one of them. Let's say this one. Let's do right click. Save image as. Save image as. And we want to call it unknown. Unknown. Did I spell it right? Un no yeah okay yeah. and let's keep it already in the right place so let's go to the c drive in this we go to project i go to what is our project trade where is trade trade here it is under the trades we have the web we have the trades we have the media and we have the to do and let's put it right there, save. Okay, so here we go. We got a nice picture. Doesn't matter, something from the internet. And we're telling the computer, if somebody doesn't upload an image, show this empty image. For now, it doesn't tell you anything, so really. Okay, but we just did the homework. I ask you to do. We just built up this one. Next stage is we want open it, open the table in the admin. What do we mean? In, what do I mean by that? But before I open it, create it. How do we create the table in the database? Anyone? Wanda? How do we create it? Okay, we, we, we definitely define it, just like the item. Yes. But which command do we use to make tables? Make migrations. Make migration, beautiful. Python, manage, dot py. Mildred, you with me? Mildred, can you hear me? I can hear you. Very good. So we're doing make migrations. Is that right, Jimmy? Yes. Wow. Migrations. Make migrations. Let's create the SQL, remember? And yes. what does he edit? He edit to the note the 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 
the application to do have migrations. Here, he added this one, you see that? Yes. And now, in order to implement it to go to the database, we do migrate. Fair enough? Now we will create it into the database. Now we have an empty table. We have an empty table. We can go into, you know, the PG admin, you will see it. We won't need to. It's the last time maybe that I will show you with PG admin because we're going to use the administrator. Something that I'm going to show you how you do it. And then I give you some to read about it later on, okay? Okay. Okay, SQL, SQL, one pass. Okay. Now we're going into browse and we go to the server and under the server we should have a schema and under the schema we have tables. And if you look under the to do, there is two tables now, is that right? This table is empty. The table is empty. Hey, but hold it, we have first name, last name, image, but ID, we said it does it automatically. If we don't specify primary key, he adds that automatically. Is that right? Right. So here we go. We just did a new table. Now, what do we want to put in the table? But we don't really want to go to the PG admin all the time. Django has something really nice. And that's what we're going to do now. Django has a file we haven't used yet. If you go into the to do, there is a file called admin. Let me do double click on it. On if you have a good eye, you see this is, looks familiar. It has to do with the item table. Is that right? Yes. So how about if I just copy it? I don't really understand exactly what I'm doing. That's what you learn how to do in computer science. And I get the idea, because I can mimic, isn't it? Let's see what do I have here. So for mothers, import item, but I don't want to import only item. I want to import which other table? Which other table we just created? Team members. Very good. So let's start typing team. You see, came up automatically. Okay? Yes. Now, in here, I want to do here this one, not for the item, for the team member. In a minute, in fact, I really didn't explain. I'm not fair in a sense. I'm just jumping and not really getting into the whole thing that it should be. But that's okay. In a second, I will go back and I will make much more sense. The only thing is, now, I'm just copying the same logic that I had for item for the team members. Let's see what's going to happen. One thing is, this is, looks like familiar text. It is a field in here. I don't really want the text. I want those ones. Is that right? Yes. So let's put those one instead in the admin. So here in the display, I want to ask him to put first name, comma. This is the list, remember? That's the way you do a list in Python. Last name. And last image. Is that right? Those are the fields that we have. Yes. Correct? Do you want the ID of the student or the person? We can do that. Although we didn't really define it here, but we know it does create it automatically. Also here and also here. So I can, I can maybe put it here too. Let's try it. What can happen? So we'll do ID. 
because we know it create automatically a field ID. Now, what does it help me? Let me show you. Let's run it. Run server 8000. Enter. Beautiful. I'm going to go in. It works, but see here at the trick. If I do slash admin, how does it work? I'm not going to hit enter yet. I want you to understand the logic. We said that the first thing it goes, it goes to the application traits, it goes to this URL. So if I write admin, it's going to go here. Is that right? Right. This is special things that Django have put there. We haven't done, this is a special application of Django. And now we're learning how to use it. So really by typing admin, and you have to be an administrator to be able to get into this, otherwise it won't get you in. We met ourselves as a super user when we started the, in the beginning of the semester. Now this is what allow me to really access a special program of Django. So let's hit enter. Oh, this is the special program. It's designed by Django. We didn't do anything. And in fact, if you have a good eye, look at the bottom. What does it say to do, isn't it? Yes. And what does it have? Items and? Oh, this is the two tables. Let's click on item first. Items, we fill up some information, remember? Yes. Oh, let's go back to do. Let's go to the team member. Team member, we have nothing. I want to add one. I can add it from here. Okay, usually you don't do it in real life, okay? In real life, you make a special field, a special page, and we'll get to that, okay? But let me just add one so you at least see the beautiful Django already made, like this is like a screen, okay? And I made it like, hey, it's a text field. Hey, I made a mistake. I'll fix it. I fix it. I, and now I understand why he gave it to me the way he did. I'm gonna go to here. I don't really want a text field. I want a character field. Character, character, why it doesn't like me? Field. Anybody sees character? Care? Did I pass it? No. Email? No. Here it is. Okay? And this one is really the one that I want. So I'm gonna change it slightly. Text is really, you can put as much as you want. You don't really need to limit it too. That's why we didn't limit it here. So I'm just going to rerun the Mac migration again. Uh, control C. I will run Mac migrations. I will run migrate. See, it's alter those two. Migrate. And that's okay. It will look better now in a minute. It's happened all the time, by the way. So, good. Now I go back, I will refresh, it will look better. Let's refresh. We don't really need the whole, you see? We just need a place to put a first name. So first time I'm gonna write what, Brenda? No, I wanna write a different one. I want to, who is there today? Patricia. Who? Patricia. How do you spell it? P-A. No, but I want her to say it. Where is she? she? She's next to Brenda. Okay, where is she? I want to see her. What's your name? Patricia. How do you spell your name? T-A. I got confused. 
Michael. Yes. I'm going to give you, no, I'm going to give Brenda a sharing capability and she will type it inside. Okay. Okay. Why don't you ask for a control, Brenda? In the top there, you can ask for to control my screen. Why you want me to use the fridge? I'm approving you. Go ahead, type it here. Type in the application. I had a girlfriend by the name of Patricia once. <laughs> I know how to spell Patricia. <laughs> They have last name. Finish. How do you pronounce it? Okay. Now, how do you add a picture? There's the choose file option. Click, click on it. Very good. Now, which we don't have any pictures of her. No. Let's find a girl on the internet. And then later on, you change the picture, okay? And you, okay, you guys will put your own pictures, every one of you, when you do it, okay? So All I'm right. going to write here, beautiful woman. The only problem, I don't know how to spell beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how to spell anything, in fact. Beautiful. You're not helping. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, man. Image. How about that? Here we go. Which one do you guys like? Which one do you like, Michael? <laughs> you like them all, don't you? I like them all, yeah. <laughs> Which one? So, okay, we'll just take some one. It doesn't really matter. Here, she look. She, uh, let's take one. Here, here. She's. Uh, which one? Let's go. Let's, let's, let's take the little girl. She's cute. Okay. She's very cute. Okay? I think she's very cute. So. <laughs> We're gonna do Brenda. Jonathan is happy. <laughs> I'm saving the image just in my download, okay? And then we'll call it Patricia. You will change it, okay? Okay? You will change it later on. Now that we have a picture, we can go back to here. We go to the download. Let's see if we, where is the pick download, the modified, go all the way up. Here is Patricia and it's there. Now I would like to save it, is that right? Here we go, we have a save button, click save. And we have a line, this is beautiful. Is that right? Yes. Is that right, Michael? Yes, it's okay. This is beautiful. So, but hold a second. Where did the computer put the picture? Where is it? I suspect he put it here. Let's go to the to-do. Hey, you see the picture of Patricia? Yes. You're right here. That's pretty cool. It doesn't go to the database. It's keeping it on the hard disk because it's not efficient to keep pictures in the database. So he's smart enough. How did I tell him where to put it? I told him where to put it. Look at that, upload to, to do. Put all the pictures that anybody upload to here, put them in this directory, in the media. That's why we have the media. Fair enough? Any picture, that we use in the main application, you will put them here. 
if somebody doesn't upload the picture, it automatically will take unknown. Let's see if it works, okay? I'm going to add another one. This time, I'm going to add Michael. Finally, I learned how to spell your name. Last name, Brenda, type it in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I'm saving it. I'm not uploading a picture. I have two names. Everybody agree? Now, let's see who's smart. Now is the test of the smart. I'm going to the view. What does the view do? Remember? What do we have here? This is pulling what? Anybody? Object items in the models file. Yeah, but I want now to pull also what? The team members. Is that right? Yes. I want to show your pictures and your name in the same place. Look at it here. Let me go back here. Now I'm going to go back uh, here. I'm going to take this one. I don't need the admin. I might go back to it. Here I want to go back to here. And I want to go to the to do application. To do, here I have a list of whatever we're typing. I would like to make on the top of it maybe, I want to put the name and the picture of the team members. Anybody has an idea? What do you say? The name and the picture. The team members. First of all, I have to pull up the team members, don't I? Yes. So, you know Amos already, I always copy for myself. <laughs> so here I'm going to write team. And that's the table members. name. And that comes from which table? Team members. Very good. Team members. Now this one will have all the rows from the second table. And here I can transfer to the temp template as many tables as I want. So I'm going to transfer another one. Okay. I'll call it even just a team. Team. Members, you know what, mem bears. that's fine. And here I will do, and here I will do team members, we'll find it. So the template now has items and team members. Now, so yes. let's go into the template. What is the template in the to-do? To-do application, to-do, what is to-do? Here we go, in the templates, we go into the to-do, and we have the index. In the index, here we have a loop that does it for the items. How about I copy myself? What do you say? Let's copy myself. Let's copy the whole things from here. And copy it here. Be, don't be afraid, okay? This is a good scienti scientist. It's the one that doesn't afraid. Okay, if I leave it, I will get twice everything. But that's not what I want. So I'm going to call that team member in singular in team members. Is that right? Yes. And where is this team members come from? It comes from here. I get also team members. Is that right? Right. I can use it here. So, but inside, of course, it's not the item. So I can put here definitely the ID of the person. That will be his ID. I can put, but this one is not true. I don't have text. What do I have? Dad? Anybody? What do we have in the model? Let's look at Character. the model. Character. First name, last name, image, isn't it? Yes. That's pretty cool. So what do you think? So let's go. Let's go here. What first name? What is it? So I will put here a, I'll put here first name. And what do I put here? 
I want another, I want another column for the last name. Okay. Yes. Control copy, bingo, bingo. And this one we're gonna take out. We don't need it because we don't have the date. But I will deal with the image. We have to deal with the image. Okay. Not first name, but last name, is that right? Yes. First name is missing it. Last name. Now the challenge is we want to put another place, TD, for the image. We want to put the image here, is that right? Yes. How do we do it? Team member dot. You know, the best way to do is copy from somebody. Why do you copy? Where can we copy from? How about if we go here to the left? Oh, we don't have it really here. Yeah, I didn't open it for you. For that list, no. I didn't give you the example of the main. Hold a second, let's go to the main. In the main, no, we don't have examples. Hey, I didn't show you example how to do it. I should. Okay, if it really is for the second, it really should be for the second certificate. But what I would do, I will show you how I did it in Academy City. So that would be a good opportunity for you, how real stuff works. By the way, this is a virtual machine. This is like a second computer I have in my computer. That's what we'll cover in the next certificate too. Like I have two computers inside here, okay? But first, thing, let me, as it's coming up, one thing we do know, how to add image. So, you know, you can, you can, let's say you don't know anything, and Michael already have said it before. If you don't know anything, just go into Google. Is that right? Right. But I have examples almost to any, anything I already have implemented. Uh, so let's, it, it's slowing down because this one takes a lot of memory, by the way. That's why I many times close it. That's like uh, another kind of thing. How do you go about it? Mildred, how do you look for it? Yeah. I will write table or model. All the word, tables, word, models. Let's see what comes out. A template. Let's see what comes out. Maybe I will be lucky. Is that right? Here, this is a guy probably have the same question as we do. Somebody already have asked that question. I usually read it that way, you won't believe it. He's, uh, he's showing you tables, blah, blah, blah. So I usually just go quickly down, down. Here's the view. Because that's all I really care. No, not the view. I want the templates. Here's the templates. And here it does something very similar to what we want, isn't it? Hey, beautiful, see? It has raw in listings and it's using something like that. What is that? Oh, it's using harmonized. Harmonized. You have to install it, otherwise it won't work. Okay? Is that a better way? Let's see what I did. Yeah, this is, I use that one too, okay? Let's see what I did. Here we go. This is my, this is my Academy City. In Academy City, I really use images. I use everything. So let's look at example here that I use an image that I upload image. Okay. See, there's a lot of application here. You can just imagine. Well, I have even I have an application. This is a really good one. How you can steal images from other websites. Okay, one day I will teach you. This is a beautiful application. Okay, yes. it really is a nice application. Uh, let's look at the templates. Let's look at the, is there any things? Image base, images. 
let's say if I did something like that here, create, I think the least probably will have it. Double click here. Okay, let's see if there's any image. Anybody see image? No. Do, I see, do you see image? Under, under the URLs. Well, it's all JavaScript, you see? Do you see any image? There's just a link leading to the images. Yeah, this is a sophisticated one. That's what we'll see the next certificate. Now here I'm using more sophisticated way. And also I'm using language translation. So that's not a good one. Let's go to, uh, I think I have the user. Yeah, I have user. In the user, I should have a profile. Modern, let's see here. In the model, I think I have an image. Let's see, here we go, profile, table, image. Anybody see image? Yeah, here we go. And we have yeah. where the image, you see I do upload, and this is a little more sophisticated, is uploading it a little different than I taught you. He's also put the year, the month, the day it was uploaded. I don't really care. What I really care, it's what do I see the image? Why do I see that image? So let's try our luck. It should be in the templates, isn't it? Yes. Oh my God, look, it scared the hell of me. Look at how many templates. Profile, anybody see profile? We have institutions. User profile, how about this one? Let's see, double click. Okay, do I have image here? Oh, this is even more sophisticated, my God. This one we didn't learn. So that's not gonna help me. So what should I do? Anybody? You see? The reason I'm really showing you all of that, there is so many ways you can do things, okay? This is one way you can do it, okay? You can uh, really upload images and download. I'll show you another place, okay? that I use images. This is all beautiful stuff. Hopefully when you get to level three, you finish level three, all of that will be really nice knowledge. You can really do real stuff. Let me go into another application. This is really one of my favorite application that I'm developing. It's called Global. It's called Global Sim. I think I'm implementing it there, okay? Let me go to the templates. This is one of the most sophisticated JavaScript developments. Let's see the part, edit, uh, distributors. No, 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 no. Anybody, here we go, maybe game admin. Let me try that. Let's see if there is any image. Control F, image. I think I did, yeah, here we go. That's pretty cool. Look, finally I found an example. I still don't understand how does it work, but at least, and see here, there is a term nails. You have to, up to implement that one, otherwise this one will not work. And let me explain it, okay? Let's go back to our project. Let's go to here. I have less memory now. So it's uh, taking a little longer. The index, if you recall, the index inherent from best to do, okay, from this one. And the best to do, let's look at the best to do. The be best to do inherent from the base. So let's look at the base. Now we can look at some interesting stuff. In the base, I don't really, I inherit, I have load static, but I didn't really loaded a special library that handle pictures, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and just teach you also that one, this is really a library in Django templates that handle pictures nicely. So let's see if it works, okay? I'm gonna put it here and put it here. Now let's see. 
is uploading those two. And now let's cross our finger. We go to the index. And here, instead of the image just like that, not this one, or is the loop? We have a loop, remember? And we want to do it in the last one. I put it here. We want to put it here. So I'm going to copy my code. I copy my code. I'm going to copy the whole things from here. Let's see what happens. See if I will be lucky. That's what you do in real life, by the way. It says terminal A, but that's not a game. That should be a team member. Take it from the team member. Image. Next semester, next course, I will talk about how that one works, okay? Not the time for it. Okay. I will just put this one like that, team member. We have location, it will be the GI. GI will have a URL. It will know what to do, in another word. Alternative, a, we will do team member first name. Control V. If I can put an image, you know, I can put any image I want, okay? A, I will put here first name. Okay, but the beauty, let's see if it works first of all. Okay, let's see if it works. Let's go back here. Let's go to our here. That's the right. And refresh. Oh, we got an error. He doesn't know, it's not register tag library. Must be one of admin, blah, blah, blah. So what do you do in that case? What do you say, Michael? Um, we need that library. Exactly. So what do you do in order to solve it? In fact, let's say you copy a code from the internet. So what do you do? You just copy that error and you go to the internet. You know? And you can help it by saying Django. So Google will know better. Template. It's an error you got in the template. Is that right? Yes. Our template is not valid tag library. So somebody already have asked that question. 99.99, somebody will always ask that question. So he said, blah, 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 blah. I got an error, here is the answer, okay? And what does it say here? Terminal processes. Okay, try to add your setting to the app, easy terminal. I have no idea what it is. And I have to add something in here. What is that? It looks like you forgot to add easy thumbnails to your install apps. Anybody remember what is it, install apps? It's, it's under settings where we have a list of apps in the project. Exactly. So stage number one, it says, so let's go and look at the, let's look at, okay. אני לא יודע, חנוך? לא, אין אף אחד ממי. ביי. אה, אין אף אחד ממני בשיעור, ביי חמודה. תודה מוטי. אוקיי, אני מוזיר, סורי בונד. אוקיי, let's look at how it is really done in Academy City website. By the way, don't get scared, there's millions of templates. This is real job. This is real stuff. So let's look, let's close the apps. You see, even in the Academy City, we have settings, just like your projects. We have a base, but here we have a lot of stuff, okay? We're looking for the installed apps. Installed apps has to be somewhere, here we go. But here I even broke it down, Django apps, 
a bootstrap, we didn't talk, we'll talk about next semester. There's a lot of beautiful stuff. Here I did local apps and there is, what is the special one? Third, third party. Third party, let's see if that's there. Maybe I put it there. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Bootstrap. Here, oh, here we go. You see easy? You see yes. this one? Yes. This is exactly what he's talking about. But see if I will just copy it. Let's do the same thing. So I'll just copy it from here. I'll go to our project. We'll go to our project. And we will go to, we'll go to the settings. Is that right? Yes. We'll go to the base. We should have similar structure. It's exactly the same. And we here is installed. Let's put it here. Will we get an error or not? We won't. We will or we will not? Most likely we won't. We will. What do you say? I didn't understand. We not or will? We will. Uh, we will. Why? We have a lot of it. Hold a second, here we go. Let you control C, run server. Let's say we get an error. I think we should. Hey, what does it say? No module named. Hey, you put a module, but yes. it's not defined. It's not any one of those, and it's not part of Django, and you have not installed it. So in order for that one to work, you have to install a Python module. Okay, let's go back to Academy City website. Let's see, there's something very special. If you click file, I will show it to you also. I'll go to setting. It will take a little time, it's just a lot of I usually close other programs when I work on this one. Here we go. Uh, next semester, as I said before, we will dive more into this one. I have ton of application installed. We use all of them. I use a lot of them. I need to find one that called Easy Tam something. Yeah, where is it? Do you see it? Is easy here? Do you see easy? I have to go. You see how many? My God. So here it is. Do you see it? Yes. Two oh, let's see if we have it. It's got the same place. File. Okay. Settings. Here you will see all the libraries of Python being installed. Some of them we installed in the first session, but I never really explained it to you. You weren't ready. Now it's the time to be ready. And we'll see which kind of libraries we actually installed here on here. Okay. We need to go into the projects interpreter. And it's loading, loading. It's showing me all, see, this is the only one. Django, we had to use Django. We're using Django 2.1. By the way, which kind of Django I'm already using? I'm using a little more advanced Django, just because I needed to do Django, Django, Django. Where is Django here? Anybody see Django? Here's Django. I'm already using 3.0, point 0.10. Okay. The reason I didn't want to put it for you because that has a lot of advanced stuff. We don't need that yet. In the future, we will. Okay, PLO, it's for images. This is for deployment. This is you don't need. This is for database. But I don't see easy something. Do you see that? No, it's not there. Exactly. There's two ways to do it. The easiest way for a project like that you click on the plus 
and I'm going to do easy. And it's supposed to find it for me. Anybody see it here in the list? Easy, maybe easy with Y, isn't it? Wasn't it? Easy, Tom, something like that. Easy. You see. see how many there are. My God, it's scary. Anybody see it? Ah. This is it, isn't it? Am I right? Let's do double click. Okay, and then install package. It's going to install it. Now, after I will install it, I can use it. What does it say installing it within the environment we're working? If you remember in the very beginning, okay, we install environment, okay? That's why I made you do ins, and then we made trades ins. It's installing it only for that, uh, uh, that environment. Okay, now I'm gonna close, it's installed. Package installed successfully. Let's see if we get an error now. Okay. And now, what do you think? Would be an error or not? No. Hold a second. No, hold a second. Hold a second. Wait, let me. Uh, it's just I don't have enough. I have add giga and I need really to get a computer with. 34, 32, or 64. Uh, I, use it, I use a lot of computers on the computer. So it's gonna wake up in a second. Come on, babe. The zoom is really also not helping much. It's got let me see what happened. There's too many things open, really, too. Okay. So anybody wants to conclude what we did today? We learned how to build up a table and how to add an image, okay? And how yes. to add a table into the admin of Django. Without needing and the how database. How to add a row within the admin of Django. And now we want to show the image in a template. And that's really most of the stuff we need for certificate one. Later on, we will learn the code also. I thought I would get to that today. But here we go, let's see. Let's do Python. Manage.py run ser server 8000. Bingo. Very good, I will click on that link. It should open up. Here it is. I probably should close this one, but that's okay. Let's leave it. Beautiful. Let's go to the to-do. And in the to-do, what we're supposed to see now? Eh, we still have an L, anybody? What do you say? See, it tells me that on this line of the package we just installed. So let's go back here. And I would recommend in this case, simply, When it says here extend, okay, in the base, many times it doesn't really like it when I put it this way. So 
what I usually do, I just do the following. I don't put it here. Let's see if it will be nice to me now. I go to the index and put it right under here. Okay, I don't need the static again. That should be fine. Okay, let's see if that one will work now. Okay, let's see. Let's go here. Let's refresh. Let's see if it would be nice to me. No, it's not nice to me again. And what does it say now, anybody? Terminals take receive at algorithm. Subject location. Okay. At least we're making some progress. Is that right? We're making some progress. Making some progress in the sense that he has some problem with whatever I'm transferring to him. So, you know, I can I can be smart enough to say he doesn't like this part. So let me I will remove it for now. For the second. Subject location, team members, image, subject location. It probably doesn't have this one. Okay, so let me take this one out altogether and let's see if that will work. Hopefully it will. Run it. Oh, beautiful. It did work. Hey, but I don't see anything. Finally. Huh? Here I it is. Put this. You see, but, but I don't see the picture. It said Patricia, Michael, but I don't see the picture. The image didn't come out. Am I right? Do you see that? We're getting the image. Maybe we'll take this table and we'll put it on the top so you can see it better. I'll take it here. This one is the table. We just created for the images, is that right? And let's put it in the above everything. No, not about this one, body. Here we go, let's put it about this image here. Put it here. Let's look at the pictures again. And in fact, it doesn't really show me the images for some reason. It doesn't like me again. What's there all? He doesn't like me for some reason. Maybe I copied something by mistake. Div, table, yeah, this is fine. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. It was just fine before. Yeah, this one was fine. Team, this is okay. Control, copy, delete. Let's see if I get an error now. Shouldn't get any all. Very good. So what we will do, we'll go here and, and let's leave the form. We don't want to touch this form. We want to go right here above. We want it here in fact, but I'll put it here. Let's put another BL. BL is a new line, is that right? We put BL. We we'll put a few, few of them and put this one here. Let's see if we get an error. From team member in team members, is going to go over all of those. We shouldn't really get an error here, unless, I don't know, let's see. T table, div, everything is fine, looks fine. Let's see. I would recommend to take this one out. This one or this one out for now. At least maybe we'll get the picture at least. That would be nice. Okay, let's see what we're getting. Um, crop SGI. Let's see if we're getting in any error. What do you say, Michael? It's gonna work?
Okay, so far so good. Let's go here. Let's do a refresh and just get stuck all the time. Here we go. It's cooking. Okay, oh, what do you say, Michael? It works or not? Hello? Hello, everyone. Anybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. It is working, isn't it? What do you say, Michael? Yes, it's working. Hello? Pardon? Anybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Is this working or no? It is working, but we beg your pardon from from where you were deleting that image. Our yeah, so I'm going to go over it. But at least we see we have the ability to enter names. Is that right? We enter names and we put pictures and we can see them on the screen. So let's summarize everything, okay? Because I did a lot of changes, okay? Let's go over that step by step. Everybody with me? Jimmy? Hello? Yes, please. You with me? Yes, I am. Ready to do a review of everything? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's do it. Okay? Let's do it. I will close this one as well. Stage number one, we made a table. Everybody is familiar now how to make a table? Everybody is happy how to make a table? Yes. Michael? Yes, everybody is familiar. Yes, Michael. I am. So everybody know how to make a table, is that right? Yes. Yes. What's special about this table? This table, we put first name, last name, we use a character field, and it has an image. This one, we put images. And what we say here to him, upload to, it's where to put it in the directory called media. If we go here, we have to have a media directory and under the media, it will put a folder to do. He made it automatically here. And inside, he put the picture. See, in fact, it's very smart. He, he put Patricia, but he put it two different sizes because I asked him, okay? That's for the next semester. But for now, it's important for us when we upload the picture, it will put it in the right place. That's stage number one. Stage number two, after we define the table, we learn how to show it in the admin. We literally copy the item and we duplicated the same things for the team members. And how does it work? There is a special, this is called decorator. Okay, this is again, next semester. We can study ever since in one, one certificate. It tells me register with the administrator this table. And it has to use this special class, okay? I didn't really teach you, but it really has to inherit from admin, model admin. And you give it a name. This decorator makes it to go to the administrator. And then I tell him in this table, Show me those columns. Show me those columns. And how does it come into place? When we went here and we took the same things here to remind you. If I want to go to the admin, but because I added, because I added that class into the admin table, when I go here and I type admin, the admin application open up. And here we have the team members. And what does it show me? Pay attention. It show me all the fields. You see that? Because I told him to show me. Okay. Fair enough, everybody happy? Yes. I don't want to lose my, I think my internet is gonna die. Uh, sorry, my electricity. Now I should be fine. Okay. 
Beautiful. So that was the second things we did. Okay. And then when we add a new user, we can add another user. And by clicking add, and let's say I put Brenda. And I will use Brenda a quartal. It's not true. You can fix it. I can choose an, a file. Is that right? I can use a file. Let me use some other image. I don't know what the image is here. Uh, let's say, let's just take some image. It doesn't really matter, okay? It will be like the globe, but I can change it, of course, okay? Now I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I will have three lines now, okay? In this table, I have three people. The idea now, how do I show it in the to-do application? If I refresh the screen, I will see now three, you see there, there are three now. Yeah. There is Quatara, Iguan, and it didn't show me the image for some reason. Did I save it? Let me see. Let me go back. Yeah, it did. It's in the to do, Patricia, unknown images globals. It should take it. Let me see if the picture was uploaded. Let's see if it was uploaded. Where do I check if he uploaded it? It should be in here. Did I? But I don't see it now. Yeah, here we go. For some reason, it didn't upload the image. It should have uploaded. Come on. No, it, uh, yeah, it did. Okay. So in fact, I do have another image called globe. Okay. Now let's refresh. Maybe take him a little time to refresh. So let's go here. And refresh. Yeah, he did. You see, we have really, you see, the beautiful things is we're getting, we can upload pictures. We can show it on the screen. How does it work? How did we get the pictures here? How did we get the pictures here? And let's look. That's the last things we did today. It's by going to the view. In the view, we added this line. This one says, give me all the rows in the team member table. Okay, Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? I don't hear him. I'm around. Yeah, can you hear it? Can you understand that? You understand it, yeah? Yes, please. Yeah, I'm pulling all the members, team members, and I'm transferring it to the template through this dictionary. I go to this dictionary. Where is it? The dictionary is in the to-do application and not in here, not in the media, in the apps. I have to-do, I have templates, and I have to-do. And here we go, the index. And in the index, we made a change. We, made, we added this one. This one, what it does, it, it does a loop. You see the four? It does a loop of a four. That's the end. It's going for every member in the team members and is adding a new row. You see that? A new row. Inside the row is making TD. Those one are really columns. And then it makes the first one, in the first one is putting the you know, let's, let's do it this way. It would be a little easier to follow. This one, we're putting ID. Then we put a last name and then a first name, last name, and then we put in the picture itself. This one was a little hard. By doing this one, we realized we have to use a library in Python. 
and we learn how to install it. We went into the file. Is that right? What did we got next, Michael? We went to settings. To the settings. settings. Very good. In the settings. Okay, in the settings, we went to the projects trade and we went to the project interpreter. Here we have all the packages that we are using. We were missing this one, this one we didn't have. We couldn't use it, so we did, we clicked plus, we looked it up by typing easy, and then we went down, we found it up, we found the, wherever it was, we found it up, it was right here, see? And we did install package. Since we already installed it, there's no point to install it again. After it's installed, I can use it. How do I use it? Stage number one, I have to load it to the template. And this one, frankly, you don't need to learn it to remember by heart. I don't remember it by heart either. This is exactly really how to use it. You use the thumbnail to take the image field from this table. I'm telling him the size. By the way, I can make it a smaller size. I can make it 100 by 50. We will make it a smaller picture, okay? As crop, crop it's shrink it. In this case, we're not really shrinking as GI, and after I have GI, it takes the URL. The URL tells him where to find the image. By the way, it's really pointing to the, to the, to the, me, uh, to the media. I won't get into that, that's what we'll do next semester. But just knowing how to copy it and know how to do it, it's already a big jump. Over time, you'll learn better how to control it, like the way I did it in Academy City, okay? And that's closing the topic for today. Let's refresh this one. We should really get smaller pictures, I think. It's just very slow, let's see. Yep, it didn't like me. Ah, uh, because it didn't, no. It won't let me because I didn't crop it in the right size. Let me do control Z, Z, let's put it back. Let me, uh, no, hold a second. Let me see, this will be really interesting if we'll be able to, uh, let me copy this one. No, you know what, let's leave it. Let's leave it for now. It's not the objective of this. It's not the objective of this session. We'll do it next semester, okay? Uh, let's leave it this way, that should work. Now, one thing somebody can, with that we conclude for today. Okay, let me run it, but that's the only size we have. Okay, how about, is anybody can tell me how can I put the pictures, how can I put the name under the picture? Anybody? And with that we'll finish. Volunteer, put the, Put the number and the name under the picture and let's make the pictures go this way. I don't want rows, I want one picture after the other one. Anybody has an idea? Anyone? Hello? Any volunteer? How will you make it to go as a row? You know, now we have three rows, but I want only one row. I will help you out. It's really hard for the first time, okay? You don't really know enough HTML, okay? It's, see, the idea is that I want to put everything in one row. So I'm taking the loop outside from here and put it inside the row itself, okay? So I will have only one row. This now, I will have only one row. 
but I don't want to repeat everything three times. So I'm going to really start all over the whole things. I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to make TD all the, and inside this one, I want to put the picture. What is the picture? This is the pictures, don't you think? This is the picture, is that right? Is that right? So I'm gonna copy this one and put it right here. It's gonna be only one. And now I don't want another one. I'm gonna put right under that BL, it will, it will give me a new line inside the cell. And then I will take the ID right in here. I will make a dash and right in the same place, I'll put the first name. And I will leave you as an exercise because we're gonna get an, not an arrow, but it's gonna combine those one together. And I want a space here. So if I leave a space here, Let's see if it will give me a space there. I'm done, okay? It should really give me now the three pictures next to each other. Let's see. Let's run it. If I made a mistake, we'll fix it. Oh, it's nice, you see? We got the picture, we got the number. Hey, but you see, the name, it's only giving me the last name, isn't it? Am I right? Does it give me the first name? No. The last name. Does or it doesn't? The last name. Does it give me the first name or the last name? Giving the last name. Because I forgot a T here. Now let's do it again. Refresh. Oh, here we go. And uh, it's really nicely done. Is that cool? Michael, what do you think? It's cool or no? Very cool. It's fine. Okay. In your final test, you will have to know how to do it. Not only that, I would like you, let's say Patricia, I would like when you click on her picture, it will open a new page showing a big picture and description about Patricia. That would be really nice. Okay? And Mildred, here will be, it will say, your beautiful picture. You say Mildred, you click on it and you get a new page with your CV. And we see here we'll have Brenda, Beautiful picture, you click on the picture, it will come out. By the way, to appreciate what we learned today, we learned a hell of a lot. We really learned a hell of a lot. We have one more session and I'm almost done with this certificate. Okay, one, maybe two. It will be two because the last one, I'll, expl I'll explain to you the exam, okay? To appreciate, that I myself using this trick, I already used that in Academy City. Why do I use it in Academy City, by the way? Anybody? Let's go to Academy City. I have so many open, let's close some of them. Let me close some, there's so many open. Let me close this one, let me close this one, let me close this one. Close all those. Okay, anybody know why I use that in Academy City? Let's go back to the main page. Anybody saw in the main page I'm using it? Anybody? I'm scrolling down. What do you see in the bottom? You see one row? Isn't it similar like the pictures that I did? Yes, it is. Is that right? And in the bottom, the names? Yeah. Yes. Same things. And what I, I told you I want you to do in your test, in your exam, okay, you will need to go 
in here and click on it, it will open another page. Is that right? Yes. That's exactly what we're doing in Academy City, isn't it? If I click here, pay attention. I'm clicking, it's opening another page. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. Yeah. See, you, you, I'm not teaching you just theoretical stuff. This is real stuff. And by the way, you can't really do those stuff with program like Workplace and all of those stuff. This is a fully integrated in a database. So if I were to ask you in the exam, there is a table that holds this information, by the way, in Academy City. How many rows does it have? One row. one row. Has one row. No, in the table. Two. How many rows in the table for this one we have? How many rows did we have? I remind you. One row. No, in the in the table. Let's go to the table, we go to the admin, is that right? And let's go and open the table of team members. How many rows do we have? Exactly, one for every person, is that right? Yes. So in Academy City, how many rows do I have here? Or rows, is that right? Let me prove you. And I'm not making it up. Let's go here, like we went to here, instead of this one, we go to Academy City. And we write admin. Now see, in, in Academy City, you have a lot of tables. There's many, many tables. But if I scroll, I see how many tables there are. If you scroll down to partners, anybody see partners here? Here we go. I click on partners. How many rows do I have? There are four rows. Four rows. Why there are four rows? One for each one of them, is that right? Yeah, exactly. Is it cool? It's the same things. It does a loop and you put them, but the, your challenge will be later on. How did Amos do it? When you click here, it opened up another page. That's very cool. I go into here, go back. I go into, and this one I wanted to talk to you that we done for the session. You click on this one. And that's really the website that's supposed to be for Academy City Uganda. Isn't yes. it beautiful? It is. Now, and with that I will conclude, I wrote to Michael and I want to make a session to expose you a little bit. This is a very special page. It's not part of the course at all, but it yeah. really is a very high level. See, this is like certificate one, that's what you guys doing. But there is another two certificate coming after. You can really learn everything in one day. This is really built on top of this one. And this one is built on top of these two, okay? But, and then there really a totally different course It's called Django CMS. What you see here is Django CMS. Okay, and how do you design this one? I'm going to teach you a little bit and I want you guys to design it. You with me, Michael? Yes. Yes, I am. See, so the beautiful part of it, now you're getting a little, when you get, when you finish certificate two, you'll be able to do much more. But for now, this is really a beautiful. See, if I go here, it will, this is something I'm not gonna teach you guys. It's not part of this certificate. It's really a totally different course. I can go into every place here. I can double click. It will open a screen 
in which I can edit, it automatically will save it in the right database. But that's much more advanced. That's another half a year you will be able to understand. But even without understanding how, I can teach you how you can use this tool to design it. You got it? And then later on, you will understand how to combine Django with Django CMS. That's a separate uh, things, okay? So that's for today. Questions, guys? There's some names I didn't hear anything. Jerome, how are you doing? Where's Jerome? No, I see Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how are you? Here's Jim. How can you see me with black glasses? Or is that black glasses, Jimmy? <laughs> Are that white? Jeremiah, how are you? David? I'm okay. Oh, that your name is David or Jeremiah? Both. Two names. You have two names? Yes. Jeremiah, you have two names? Yeah. Okay. By the way, you know much about Jeremiah in the Bible? Yes. You do? Yeah, I know much about prophet. You know, I know a lot about the Bible. I will tell you something very special about Jeremiah next time. Very unique to Jeremiah. Different than any other prophet. Okay, where is Mildred? He's almost asleep. You want my pillow? Where's my pillow? You need it? I can't send it to you. Maybe I will send it in the Zoom. You know, I want to invent something. Brenda, what do you think about the invention that I will put a hand on your computer and I can control the hand from here. So if you fall asleep, I will hit you with the hand. What do you think? Is that a good invention? Yeah, it's a very good one. Then everybody will run away. Michael, how are you doing? That's just a joke, yeah, Brenda. Of course, it's just a joke. How are you doing, Michael? Are you guys surviving? Yes, we are, we are. We got to the end almost. There's only one more session on the stuff I thought I would finish today. I just carried away a little bit. I didn't think about getting into the, the images, but I'm really glad I did because I think it's very important. Okay. So we did go over creating a table, create a table in the database, we opened that in the admin, we have done that. That's the only things left until the end of the semester. And then we have one more session and the session after that, we go over the game store. I will go over that application with you. One of the challenge will be to build up similar things that I did today. You will have to build it up and understand how does it work. There is one thing I didn't teach you. You're supposed to study by yourself. And then there will come the exam. You pass the exam, you get a certificate.